Welcome to our lesson on functions for Algebra 1. First off, we'll talk a little bit about what a function is and how it's a little bit different than a relation from yesterday's lesson. A function is a relation where each domain has exactly one range value. So here's a table, and the domain is the x. So each x value has one y corresponding value. All right, that is a function. In a graph, you would look over and see that each x value has only one y value. All right, this x value has that y value. If we go over to this x value, it would have that y value. Okay, so each x value has only one or exactly one y value. Each domain has exactly one range value. So let's check and see if we've got functions. I've got my helpful guy with his big old magnifying glass. He's going to help us to find if these are functions. In other words, do, does each domain value have exactly one range value? Does, if it has more, then it is not a function. So we say, does the domain value have more than one range value? If it does, it is not a function. Let's take a quick look at these right here. 2 has a value of negative 1, 4 has a value of negative 3, 6 has a value of 0, and 8 has a value of 9. This here, for this relation, we know that it is a function because each, each domain value has exactly one range value. Let's go over to our table now. 1 has a value of negative 5, 2 has a value of negative 6, 3 has a value of negative 7, and 3 also has a value of negative 8. So you see that the domain has this same domain value has more than one range value. That means that it is not a function. It is a relation, but it is not a function. Let's look at this one here. 3 has a value of negative 1, 4 has a value of 3 and of 5, so we know that this one domain value has more than one range value, and therefore that is also not a function. In terms of graphing, there's a way that we can check this really quickly, and that's called the vertical line test. It's like this vertical line. We can take a vertical line, and I'll draw one for us here. I'll make it nice, bright red vertical line. And if we move our vertical line along to any x value, it should only touch one solution or one y value. So you see here, one touches it one time. But if we continue on, when we get to the value of two, it touches in two different places. All right, so that means that this graph is not, I'm going to move my vertical line over, this graph is not a function. Let's go over to our next graph. When we take our, our vertical line and we move it to any given spot along this graph, you'll notice that it only has, it only touches on one place, right? This graph will only touch one time on the vertical line test. No matter where I put this line, the vertical line on this graph, it only ever touches one spot. Okay, so that's the vertical line test. That means that this one actually passes, and that is a function. Okay, because for every value of the domain, there is only one value for the range. Okay, so there's only one y value for each x value. All right, that's, that's the test with graphs to see if they are functions. All right, the last question we're going to look at is looking at relations and functions. We're asking which relations of these four are, are functions. So what I do when I'm checking that, I'll start at the top, and what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for the x value. First off, does the x value come more than one time? In this case, one, two, three, four, they're all different x values, and so each x value has a different y value. That's fine. That one's a function. All right. Now let's look at this one here. It has one, two, 
3, and 4. Again, it has a different x value for each of these things. It doesn't matter that it's the same y result. You can have, this would be a horizontal line if we were graphing it. And that's fine, because for each x value, there is only one y value. OK, so for 1, it's 4. For 2, it's 4. For 3, it's 4. For 4, it's 4. So for every different x value, there is a y value. The y values don't have to be different, just the x values do. So let's look at this one now. 1, 2, 1, 3. 2, 4, 2, 5. So we see that for the x value of 1, we have both 2 and 3. That means that the domain has two different range results. Same with 2 here, 2, 4, 2, 5. So that means that this one is not a function. All right? There are more than one values, more than one range values for the domain of 1. Let's look at this one. It has the domain of 1, 2, negative 3, and 1 again. So again, we have the same value here and here, the same domain. So let's see, does, is it two separate ranges? Yes. So for the domain of 1, there are two different range values. That means that this is also not a function. All right, so I hope that that's been clear and helpful. If not, make sure to ask your math teacher. And hopefully, like I said, this helps to clarify a little bit about how a function is different than a relation. Have a wonderful day.